In this webinar training, you're going to discover the eight psychic spiritual senses that you might have and how they work. How to remove deeply embedded energy blocks that are secretly stopping you from experiencing more abundance, happiness, peace, and success in your life. First of all, I'm really glad you found this training. You're here for a reason, and that reason will become clear to you in just a minute. Maybe you're looking to improve certain areas of your life, such as maybe having more abundance or improving relationships, having better health and peace of mind, or finding your life purpose. Or maybe you've dedicated your whole entire life to helping others heal, and you're looking for some better, faster ways to help people and facilitate healing on a deeper level. Either way, you're at the right place at exactly the right time. What we're going to go over here today is the invisible thing that's controlling your life right now and what really goes on in your energetic system and the answer that you've always been looking for, where negative energies get stuck and what to do about it. The eight spiritual senses that you might have and how they're working for you. My proven five-step energy healing and activation process that you can use to remove blockages that are sabotaging your success in all areas of your life and how to unlock your natural healing abilities in just 30 days, and much, much more. And if you stay to the end, I've got a real special gift for you, a video that I've just recently released, and that's called the Rapid Manifestation Technique. It's worked for me for the past 20 years, and it's worked for all my students and my clients. I'm guaranteeing it's going to work for you too. It's still working, so stay to the end, and I promise you, you're going to really love this. Now, here we got a pyramid. Let's talk about the most important thing that most people ignore, and that's your current reality. It's at the very bottom of this current pyramid, and what, that's what you're experiencing right now. And that is all caused by the decisions you've made in your life, and the decisions that you've made are caused by how you feel, your emotions. And your emotions are caused by your paradigm, your belief systems that are affected by how you think of yourself, how you see yourself. And all of that is deeply entrenched and deeply ingrained beyond all that. And it is energy. It's the one thing that's affecting everything. And this is the one thing that we're going to work on addressing. The energetic level that you're working at to basically root out, not at the fruit. That's where everything begins. It's very similar to making one change and then you make a thousand different changes because you've got leverage. It's created a ripple effect. So that's what we're going to focus on. Energy. It's the invisible thing that's controlling your entire life. It can either keep you stuck, unhappy, and unfulfilled, or it can bring you abundance, happiness, success, inner peace, everything that you've been truly desiring and wanting in your life, and more. So here's how energy affects you. As you probably already know, energy affects you more than you realize. But science has proven that everything in our universe is made of the same energy. Everything is made of energy, including the screen you're looking at, to your body, to the organs, everything around you. And science actually claims that 95% of our DNA is junk. Hmm. My intuition tells me that something yet needs to be decoded with unlimited potential. It's all energy. They just haven't been able to access it yet and decoding it as to what it's for or what its potential is. But within each of us, there's this infinite, untapped, powerful energy that we can use for things like that we like or things that we don't like. So you're probably asking, hmm, how, did, how does this apply to me? Well, can you remember a time when you spoke to someone or you encountered someone who's angry, anxious, stressed, nervous, or in a really bad mood? And what happened? How did you feel after that? Chances are you felt it. Maybe in your stomach. Maybe you got a, it felt a heart chest pain or you had a headache. But it affected you somehow and it doesn't stop there. You know, there's this thing called luck or unlucky phenomena. And you've probably seen this. Have you ever had an, a lucky day where everything just was smooth and everything went right one thing after another? It was almost as if the stars had lined up for you and conspired in your favor. Have you ever had a bad day where everything just went wrong and it just kept piling up? And 
you know, you probably wanted to curl up in a ball and hide from the world, pull, pull the covers over your heads. It's not a coincidence. All of these things happen and they're controlled by your energy. And here's how this energy affects you. When you carry a bad encounter experience throughout your day, it ends up affecting everything that you do and everyone you encounter. You end up bringing it home and it affects every interaction and all your relationships and it passes down like a ripple effect to other people. Now that's just one tiny example of how a complete stranger can affect your life with energy alone and with it, someone you don't even know. Now here's the thing, your energy is more powerful than your thoughts and your emotion. It is the invisible thing that controls everything. Your energy is that invisible thing that controls everything. And it's the one thing that most people don't even focus on because they don't see it with their naked eye. It's out of sight, out of mind, so to speak. Your energy and your personal vibration, when it's high, um, most obstacles and challenges don't even appear. You don't, you kind of skip them. And then the ones that do, well, you're just magically able to handle them. But when your energy and your personal vibration is low, then it's like Pandora's box of negativity and fear and stress. Unwanted scenarios come flooding into your life. Then even the smallest things bother you. So here's an example. A few years ago, my energy dipped. And when it did, within 30 minutes, I had four people reach out to me. And they were the same people that I would normally drag me down. And um, some of these people I only talked to a few times per year. But when the energy dipped, it was like they all showed up. And why is that? It was just like a radio system that was sending out frequencies or signals that were transmitting information. And it was I was choosing that frequency where they were hanging out, where they existed. So <clears throat> when I went there, energetically wise, they all showed up and they just wanted to find me quickly. It was like a match. It was their radar. And during that hour, I started receiving one piece of bad news after the other. So here's another example. In the past, you know, when I didn't know about this energy thing, I would let it continue on sometimes for days, sometimes weeks or months. And I didn't know how to get myself out of it. You know, going through some dark times, it was like kind of way of being for me. And that, for some people, is the new normal. And if I didn't know how to get myself out of that, it wouldn't have been the case because I would have stayed stuck. And then it would affect my thoughts and my emotions and my actions. It affected everything. So when I started realizing this was happening, I made it a priority to master my energy. Nowadays, I know within minutes. And the worst case scenario, maybe one to two hours. So sometimes you have to become aware of it when it happens. And other times your logical mind catches up like two to three negative things that just happened. And then that's when you all piece it together and it all makes sense that your energy's dipped. Either way you feel it or whether you're catch it and looking back um, and you're going to recognize there's a pattern there. When everything flows, you know, when I've chosen the highest vibration and energy for myself, miracles happen several times a day. One time I uh, had one of my students share with me a story that she was avoiding a conversation and she went into fear and she started breaking glasses all around her. Now it's different for everybody, but she had asked for signs to, for them to be intense so that she could be aware based on her physical surroundings to catch her attention. So then when she chose a higher frequency of self-love and got onto that phone call she was avoiding, um, she all of a sudden started getting money that showed up into her account. She noticed after, out of nowhere. She wasn't expecting it, but abundance found her. Why? Because she tapped into a higher frequency. It's like the law of attraction was turned on for her. So sometimes when you're at the right or a higher frequency, what you desire, things will effortlessly come to you. You don't even have to try hard, and it, it logically doesn't even make sense sometimes. That's where you are in the right frequency, what you desire, things just effortlessly magnetize towards you. So we have a physical body, and you also have an energetic body. It's a complex. Let's talk about the energetic system. I'll just give you a quick overview here. The energetic system is vast and extremely complex, but here are some of the basic things to remember. 
you've got your physical organs and then you have energetic organs or your chakras. And the chakras affect you more than you realize. And they affect your emotions, your moods, experiences that you have, your health, your well-being. Everything, including your relationships, are affected by your chakras. Let's take a look at this energetic system. You know, we've got the physical toxins. For example, our liver has to detox. And then we've got the energetic toxins to the right of that, where your energetic body is or the is storing toxins that come from internal sources or external sources. Either we can create them ourselves or they can come from other people. And then we have our physical skin and then the energetic skin. That's your aura. In other words, that's the energy field that surrounds your body and it's the aura and it depends on how sensitive you are. It can absorb energy that comes into contact to, to it or with it. Um, there's just a lot of machines out there now, for instance, the aura photography, where they've developed throughout the years that is rooted in science, and they're actually able to pick up and measure a person's energetic body. And you can actually see the pictures, there's kind of granular energy with different colors, all the stuff is available to quantify that there, it, it is real, and it's unseen, we just don't see it with our normal eyes. That's one of the gifts that I have as a clairvoyant, I can see these things. But we're able to quantify that with science, and it's pretty exciting. And then, um, so within the physical organs, uh, physical body, we have the physical organs. And then likewise, back to the energetic system, we have the energy organs or the chakras. Then, of course, we have our physical senses, sight and sound and touch, smell and taste. And we have the eight psychic energy senses and our spiritual senses. That's to see the unseen world, the invisible energy, which we're also going to go in depth in this um, video. Most of the pain and struggle that people experience is because they don't know how to take care of their energetic body. And this was one of the things for myself that when I came to grips with this and I found this secret, even though it was sad, it was really difficult, but it was incredibly liberating at the same time, truly changed my life because I could do something about the pain and the struggle that I was experiencing. And just like you take care of your physical, your mental and your emotional body, you need to take care of your energetic health. Every painful or traumatic experience that you've ever had since you were a child has had a tremendous impact on you and it's still affecting you. It's still holding you back. The problem with stuck energy is that your problems are going to keep reoccurring over and over. If you won't be able to move past, regardless of how hard you try, how much you push, you're going to have these energetic blocks in your system. So it's like something traumatic that might have happened to you as a kid or a romantic breakup or a fight perhaps that you ended up getting fired in a job. Your parents maybe abandoned you or yelled at you all the time. That leaves an energetic imprint, scars on you. And you don't even know it unless you know how to remove them. It's going to stay there. And your problems are just going to keep reoccurring over and over and over and over until you remove them. And here's how that happens. When that painful experience happens, the energy from the initial situation gets stored in your energetic body. Then what happens is that initial energy from those painful experiences, it gets stored in your body. And then from these painful experiences, it turns into an energetic pattern. And think about it like this, maybe like neurons. Have you ever heard of the term neurons that are fired together or wired together? or stay together, that means that over and over again, with the same amount of intensity, they eventually become wired within um, ourselves, within our nervous system. So those energetic patterns get stuck into where it becomes almost automatic. And then it's almost the same thing where this pattern of energetic neurons, it just, once this energy is stored there, it's exercised a few times and it continues to repeat itself. And that's why some people find themselves from one bad relationship to another or from one bad habit to another because they can't seem to get out of it. They get stuck in that rut. And as, mad as, as hard as they try mentally or emotionally or with brute force, that problem is invisible and it's energetically um, hiding so it's not going to be addressed. You know, synergistic patterns just keep you stuck. 
And that causes you to keep re-experiencing those same problems over and over and over again, unless you're able to remove those deeply rooted energetic blocks that are stuck in your body and sometimes very deep at a cellular level. I know from personal experience and from seeing this happen time and time again over the past 20 years of working with clients around the world. Energy can get trapped in your energy field from just day-to-day living, in your chakras, from your own pain, um, from traumas of others, and it's actually flipped onto you. It can get trapped in your actual physical organs, internal sources, or from external sources. And it can be stuck on our timeline, our energetic timeline, and that's karmic from our ancestral In the DNA, at a cellular level, it's passed on from our ancestors and generations of trauma can be stored in your body. And this is something that science is starting to actually prove, just like genetically things are passed down through the genes, trauma is also. And so is energy passed down from generation to generation. And a lot of times I've seen people just carry this pain, energetic patterns that aren't even their own. That's what's so cool is to discover that. If When they find out that it's from their parents or from past life parents that they've absorbed it, and once we take responsibility, accountability, and of course, remove it, but if they think it's theirs, instead of seeing that it's not theirs, and now they can do something about it, wow, that's really powerful. There's that too. Well, let's use the chakras as an example. There's a lot of energetic systems here, but just for the sake of example, we're just going to use the chakras as um, our example. It's one of this, the hidden energetic systems that flows within our bodies, and it affects absolutely everything in our life, from our careers to relationships to inner peace, success, wellness, everything, money. Chakras affect everything. So starting at the top, our crown chakra, I'm just going to go over these briefly, um, your major chakras that you have. Um, These are the basic ones, and I'm not going to go over the advanced chakras here, but there's just a lot of people that don't know about the advanced or um, out-of-the-body chakras. But um, in this foundation, we'll just talk about the basic ones so that you have an idea. So at the top is our crown chakra, and that has to do with your connection to God, your higher self, and your life purpose. And if you're having any issues around depression or having a lack of drive or focus, um, um, there's most likely that you've got some energy toxins or blocks in your crown chakra. Now your third eye chakra, the brow chakra, that has to do with your inner vision, insight, inspiration, seeing the big picture. If you're someone on the other hand that's analytical or you lack imagination or spiritual understanding, there's a likelihood that there's some energy or toxins that are blocking this third eye from opening. Your throat chakra is the fifth chakra located at the neck. It has to do with speaking your confidence and communication, speech, telepathy, uh, having a strong sense of self-worth. But if you feel undervalued or suppressed emotions, often misunderstood, there's likelihood you've got energy of toxins or blocks in the throat chakra. Our heart chakra is in the chest area, and that speaks for itself here. Um, It has to do with love and self-love. Self-worth is strong, and if you have a hard time loving yourself or keeping attracting toxic people into your life, there's a most likelihood that you've got toxins or blocks in your heart chakra. The solar plexus, third chakra, is also known as the power center. It has to do with wisdom, actually, self-esteem and feeling strong with yourself, personal power, and having healthy boundaries. If you've got a hard time standing up for yourself or standing in your power, there's a a very strong likelihood you've got energetic blocks in the solar plexus chakra. The second chakra has to do with your uh, emotions and having balanced emotions, balanced sexuality. This is your creative zone and uh, relationship information is often housed here. And if you have a hard time trusting or having commitment issues, maybe you're feeling overwhelmed or depressed or even over emotional, there's most likely energetic blocks here in this navel chakra. And the base chakra, the root chakra, has to do with feeling safe, uh, being grounded Uh, with your family situation and circumstances, energy here, health and financial security. 
If you've got a hard time staying grounded or you're fearful or you worry about money or have unhealthy food relationships, there's most likely energetic blocks in your root chakra. So just like your physical body needs to detox and eliminate waste, so does your energetic body. But the problem here is most people just don't know how. So they sit with this negative or toxic energy most of it all their lives and never really experiencing true happiness or abundance and or the depth of amazing possibilities, amazingness in their life or what life has to offer. It doesn't have to be that way. Hi, my name is Amira Hall and my friends call me a miracle and other people call me the soul mystic or miracle mentor got a lot of names. <laughs> what I'm about to show you and share with you is the eight spiritual psychic senses along with my proven five-step healing process for removing these negative energies that get stuck in your energy body so that you can finally start living your life of abundance and happiness, success and freedom in all the areas of your life. So the five steps to healing yourself and this is where um, you can begin by activating your spiritual senses and we all have them within us. Sometimes it's dormant, sometimes it's been a while, sometimes we don't even know how to use them but we have been able to activate them to its fuller potential in a way that's of love and light and that's not scary. And there's a lot of fear around activating your spiritual senses. But in reality, it's really, really incredibly beautiful and very natural part of you. You can control these spiritual senses and you can have amazing things and experiences in your life that can be, this gift can be used for good when it's activated. And it will be the thing that brings you all of what you want in your life. And then finding the energy blocks in your energetic body. Once you find it and the cords or disintegrate the blockages that are there, removing those blockages from within, then you can refuel with healing and love energy. The life force energy to bring everything back to what it's supposed to be your energetic body and your physical body. So these are the five steps that are very simple but very, very powerful for real healing, real deep re healing yourself, removing all the negative energies in your body and coming back into where you were intended to be, how God created you, your original blueprint, that perfect energetic alignment, getting back to that pure energy state. When you follow these five steps, then your energy will be clear and on a consistent basis and your days, today's quality of life will be much better and the days moving forward. And then the next most important thing is your eight psychic spiritual senses. Before I reveal those, let me share with you my quick story so that you know how all of this came about so that you have some context. You probably never heard of me and it was designed that way. Until now, I've been working quietly from mostly from the public eye and from attention. And for over 20 years now, people from around the world have secretly referred to me as the soul mystic. My name has been passed around through whispers and close circles, meeting people strictly for, through referrals. I never sought anyone out. Somehow they just found me through vibrational frequency and energy. So I'll give you a little idea of what things are like for me in my day when a CEO can call me and he's selling billions, faces challenges in his stocks, I get a call to find out where the energy blocks are and remove them. Or when a celebrity has gone through a meltdown because of a breakup and can't seem to attract the right kind of man, I can get onto the call and find out the energetic causes and address it. And when they can't seem to get it together, they piece it all together and life gets happier again. Or when a husband is about to pull the trigger and his life, um, I get a call to come in and help intervene. Or when a woman who's been on a dozen different medications for years has had debilitating panic attacks just to going to the grocery store, I get a call to fix it. Or when a child with extra sensitive energies um, is displaying spiritual gifts at a very young age and the doctors can't seem to discover what's going on. There seems to be no solution because why? They're opening up their spiritual gifts. 
I get that call to come and help them understand it, cultivate it, get it under control. When a royal princess who can't seem to get pregnant naturally and the top medical teams say it's impossible, I get the call to help her resolve it. And my days are always exciting and I got to meet incredible people around the world from all walks of life. But Amira, you know, this sounds straight out of a movie. Maybe you just got lucky or you're blessed. That's not the case for you, maybe, you're thinking. Well, I got to tell you, it's not been all rainbows and unicorns, far from it. Like the time that um, uh, a mentally unstable sociopathic client of mine accused me of raping her, kidnapping her, attempting murder, stealing all her credit cards, and filed court cases against me that caught me, cost me thousands and thousands of dollars, and I lost two years of income with no sleep or hope. Or when I split up from my husband. My dad died and I was fired because I was too sick to work. And the doctor told me I could choose between death or being in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. Or relationships that were toxic to my soul because that was the vibration of energy where I was at, attracting relationships that were toxic and destructive and dead ends. You know, I shut down from the world. I turned off my light and my love. I honestly thought, what in the heck am I doing? It was the darkest time of my life. I just wanted to hide under the covers and disappear. I didn't want to wake up next morning. I was, um, that would be perfectly fine for me. And that's exactly where I was. The truth is, learning how to master my energy and learning about my spiritual senses, that saved my life. And I'm about to share with you how that did that. It gave me a second chance. I hit the start over button in life, and here's how it all started. You know, I'll never forget these words. You have something special inside of you. And these are words I'll just never forget. I'll just never forget that experience in 1997 when I was working with a well-known indigenous shaman in the Peruvian Amazon jungle. People from around the world traveled to receive his powerful healing and spiritual messages. And during the process, I had intense head-splitting pain when the shaman worked non-stop to relieve it. And he received these spiritual messages that blocks could cause my blindness. And suddenly, there was a burst of spiraling stream of gray energy out of my forehead. And the shaman said, you have something special inside of you. You're going to change millions of lives and you need to go to Egypt. There is your key. Exactly one year later, I found myself on a spiritual pilgrimage in Egypt, and what happened next changed my life forever. You see, I had a two-week spiritual pilgrimage in Egypt. On my last day there, I had a near-death experience at the powerful Valley of the Kings energy vortex, where vast numbers of underground tombs have been discovered. And I was on the way to the hospital, and I came back to life. What's a vortex? Let me explain. It's a powerful and transformational energy center that are intersections of natural electromagnetic earth energy and they're also known as ley lines. And there's just a lot of them in Egypt. And when I came back to my body, I started getting these images in my head flashing quickly while my eyes were closed. I started seeing pyramids and spheres and spirals and and things I'd never seen, sacred geometry, symbols and shapes. Um, And then with my eyes open, I started seeing this Egyptian goddess Sekhmet. It was a wild time. As I came to truly understand that day, sacred geometry can be found everywhere. It's around us. It's around you, in you. It's everything that is. And it's even been called the language of God. From the spirals of the double helix DNA of your body to the hemoglobin of your blood that's shaped like an octahedron, that's two pyramids back to back, to pyramids, spheres, spirals, the great pyramids of Egypt, to the crop circles of Europe, to the design of religious structures such as churches and mosques and temples, and even the spiral nature of our galaxy in the universe. It's inside you, and it's also everywhere around you. 
And since it's a major part of all living things and the big part of creation, it's also been part and called the language of God. And there's more. Sacred geometry is more than just shapes. In fact, you'll be surprised to learn that sacred geometry is the key to activating your own gifts and unlocking healing on a completely different level. There are many forms of sacred geometry out there. One of my most favorite examples is the pyramid structure. And in ancient times, pyramids were built for spiritual purposes. From personal experience, I can tell you I've been in the Great Pyramid at Giza many, many times for private ceremonies, and they're powerful energy transformers. Today, pyramids are used for much, much more. More, um, an example would be to, they've rediscovered the power of sacred geometry, and here's what it's being used for as an example. A researcher named Bill Carroll experimented with pyramids for 17 years, and he did a lot of experiments using brine shrimp. And brine shrimp usually live about six to seven weeks, but under the pyramids he built, he kept them alive for over a year. And he also noticed that the pyramid was growing shrimp two to three times larger than normal. Crazy, huh? I read another article about a Canadian hospital that was using a pyramid in their burn ward. And the results were that they were being, the parents, patients under the pyramid, for just a few minutes, they started to reduce their pain. And they also found that the burn areas healed much faster. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to shake what sacred geometry can actually do. Little did you know, little did I know, that sacred geometry is the key to activating our own gifts and unlocking healing on a completely different level. Something happened to me that day back in 1998, and the next thing I know, I started seeing other people's energy fields. Suddenly, I just knew things before they happened, predictably and consistently. And if somebody was going through something, I knew it because I felt it and they what, was go- what they were going through. I could just look at their body and just know where, it was, where the energetic blocks were. And I don't know what caused their pain, but it was recurring and I just knew where the source was. And I could see the trauma and I could see karma and all their energy blocks. And I didn't know how this all actually started, but it was really kind of scary at beginning and I just knew all these things. And all the negative energies that were trapped in their organs and their energetic field, their aura, chakra, cellular level, and more. And for some reason, it was weird. I just knew how to fix it all. And it was as if there was these informational downloads that I had that I didn't have before. And I was able to do things that I never was able to do before either. And I felt like I was a mix between Neo from The Matrix and Harry Potter from Hogwarts. The first thing that I started to do is removing the energy blocks within me. Boy, did that change my life quickly. Because for a long time, I was really nervous to share this with people that I could see. So I was started working on myself and trying to get myself to understand what was really going on. I had a lot of energy blocks within me that needed removing. What happened is my income, my business income, which had nothing to do with what I do now, I was in technical sales, and that jumped dramatically out of the blue. And I started getting rewards for my success, top sales awards and recognition, and I received awards, sales bonuses and promotions. I started meeting a ton of really cool people along the way, influencers, role changers, business people and leaders, other professionals, successful people professionals, they were all attracted to me for my energy. And in the, the more I raised my vibration, the higher caliber of people I continue to attract in my life. Then I sold my house and everything I owned and I moved around the world to Dubai. And I started sharing these spiritual truths that I learned. And now the least I can do is pay it forward and share some of the sacred knowledge that I've been blessed with with you. The psychic spiritual senses are very important. And here's why. Our five senses, sight, hear, taste, smell, and touch, they help us make sense of the physical world we live in. And our eight psychic spiritual senses help us make sense of the energetic world we live in as well. They're our guiding force, our inner GPS system, or our intuition. 
And this will explain why you've experienced the things that you've experienced and will give you an insight on who you truly are. Today we're going to explore the eight psychic spiritual senses. Why they are so important. So today I'm going to go over them just so that you have an understanding of how they, what they are and how they work. And this is really, really important in understanding your own spiritual nature and hidden intuitive abilities. A lot of times, a lot of our problems occur and we don't know why we're feeling a certain way. And when we shift limiting beliefs that aren't even ours, everything changes. All the while, maybe you were beating yourself up or having feelings of emotions that were someone else's. And when you realize those weren't even your feelings but someone else's, you can address it and clear them. The first one is clear cognizance. It means clear knowing. That's the first psychic sense and this is something that I have and a lot of people do as well. The way it works is that you just know stuff without even having any external information. You weren't given facts or any visual clues or cues. Without any feedback you just know something. The frustrating thing is that most of the time when I'm right, when you're connected and it's not coming from your ego, and programming. You're just right. And it's frustrating because you can't prove it. And people ask you, how did you know that? But you just know. And you can, can't quantify it or explain how you know. And by the way, like myself, you can have a mixture of these psychic senses, not just one. And that's really special and important to know because when people come to my healings or my activation workshops, I realize that no two people have the same gift. They're all different and they function different. There's no one size fits all and we're all using them differently. Everything is tailored to who you are as a unique spiritual being. And even with identical twins, there's differences in their physical and their biochemical blueprints. And that means everybody has a unique spiritual energy blueprint that are unique for you. There's just no one size fits all. If you're studying with someone who's famous or a thought leader in this and you're like, wow, I, you'd like to know, but this is sucks and you're not doing it like them and it just doesn't work for you. Maybe you're thinking that. Well, don't beat yourself up because everybody's unique and along the journey, it's finding about what works for you. One of the biggest things that I've come to understand is that there is no wrong or right way. It's just what's right for you. In the world, there's just so much division over my religion is better than yours or this group is better than yours. But in the reality, it's all kind of like we're trying to get to a destination and we have different cars. No car is wrong. It's just like whatever car gets you there, right? It gets you there. And everybody has different types of cars that they want and everything works. And that's the same with us in the world, that we have our own spiritual features and we have our own vehicles and which are same, but getting us to where we want to go. So remember, it's all about finding your authentic self and getting back to your purpose, your purpose work, so that you can get to that destination and fulfill your life purpose. Doing what you came here to do and there's nothing wrong. Everything's right. So a lot of it is thinking what's right for you. If it doesn't resonate, well, that's cool. There's always another vehicle for you or other teachers. Otherwise, in this lifetime, whatever you have, it's okay to use multiple teachers, multiple tools, and combine them or um, benefit from all of them. The second psychic sense that we'll discuss is clairvoyance. Each of the psychic senses have different levels that can be activated to more levels in different ways. With clairvoyance, sometimes it's clear vision. You have inner vision, like imagining with your third eye. For me, it's like images coming through like I'm on a movie reel, and I get information through those pictures. It can come in dreams, it can come in seeing energy around the body, the aura, or colors, um, the chakras, lights glowing around people, the etheric body, etc. Some of them can actually see with their physical eyes spirits or energies. That's another example, but there's so many different forms of this. I mean, I could go away more advanced, but For this, uh, these are just the basic ones, but for clairvoyance, clear seeing is one of them. 
I've seen a lot where people have so much fear around seeing things instead of understanding that this is something that they can con have control over and that there are parameters or they can set boundaries. And you can have these rules around them too. Right now, if you're not aware of this stuff and being in your car, it's like being a car that's driving itself and you don't know where you're going and it's on auto drive. So you might not even know that you have an ability or using this gift right now, and that's often the case with many of my students. But once you get the skills and the understanding of this, you can be in the driver's seat and you can figure it out when to accelerate, when to put on the brakes, and when to turn the car around or turn it off. It's really liberating to have the command over your gifts. And a lot of times it's just realizing just because you have these gifts, it doesn't mean they have to control you. True freedom comes from when you understand that everything that you're experiencing is a spiritual being that you have control over, complete control over your gifts. So the next thing is clear audience, and it's all about clear hearing. And that's when you're hearing stuff that people are thinking or a higher power is actually trying to send you a message. For example, have you ever had ringing in your ears? And all of a sudden, it's like ringing inside your head. Sometimes that's somebody actually thinking about you very intensely, and they're sending you a spiritual text message, I call it. It's something that you really need to pay attention to sometimes, and it's like a confirmation from the universe. That's these are things that you could either hear in your head or sometimes it feels like somebody else is talking to you outside of your head. Let's say you were driving to work, right? And all of a sudden you hear, take this exit. And you're like, why? And then all of you follow it and you get to work late. But then you realize later, it's a different road that you would have normally taken. And if you took that, you would have been in an accident and then you would have been delayed longer or worse yet, you'd have been in one of the accidents, right? So. Is it the voice of God? Is it the voice of the universe speaking to you? Or is it your higher guidance guiding you? This is Claire Audience. Claire Aliens. My grandfather passed away when I was in high school, and Grandpa always gave us peppermints when we came to visit. But before he passed away, I had a dream where we met each other walking on a path in the park. We came to a fork in the road, and without words, he went one way and I went the other. Then, a few weeks later, he passed away. And from time to time, you know, I get these wafts of peppermint smells from nowhere. And I know it's my grandpa coming to say hello. It's just a strong knowingness. So this is another way of getting messages of communication from the spirit world. That's clear aliens, clear smelling. In my example, I was actually using my clairvoyance also in my dream, getting me the message that he was getting ready to pass. Claire Gustance is being able to taste a substance in one's mouth. For example, I've heard it said that sometimes homicide detectives are processing a crime scene and they can actually taste a drug. They get that distinct taste of what that drug is and then get back to the lab and it's confirmed that their guess was accurate. And sometimes that can happen with food and different things, but this is an another psychic ability. Claire Empathy is having clear emotional feelings, not to be confused with clairsentience, and I'll go over that in a second. This is when you walk in a room and you can just sense what people are feeling, like you don't actually feel it in your body, but you can sense it. And this can get confusing, especially if you're a sensitive, because you might think that you're, that you're having the feeling it's yours and it's your reality when it's somebody else's. It also happens as people start raising their frequency as they're able to house more energy and they start feeling like an, of the entire city. If you're like me, you can feel other people remotely and then you don't necessarily even have to be thinking about me. Clear empathy is like getting a random thought or feeling in the middle of the day, like all of a sudden feeling anxious or I'm feeling really excited. And normally you know who it is and then within 10 minutes of a call or a text, it happens a lot. So if that happens, pay attention. You might want to maybe get confirmation on that. When this happens to me, oftentimes I reach out to a few of my students to see who it is that needs help because I can feel them and they're struggling. 
So it's kind of like getting a spiritual text message. So with clear empathy, you get clear emotional feelings. Clairsentience means clear physical feelings. And this one can actually throw you for a loop because it actually is a feeling or an emotion in the body. I've had experiences in my trainings where my right arm started hurting and later discovered that two of the people in the room, they actually had right arm problems. And this happens a lot during my private work also. As you open up your energy to your clients' energies, um, we start working through their issues. It's like a match or a transfer of energy. But by the end of the training or the session, they have no pain and either do I. Clairsentience is also um, feeling emotions. So if, if somebody is feeling anger or depression, I feel it. It's literally like feeling the emotion in my body. And it took me a while to realize that somebody, it was somebody else's, not mine. And then I could do something about it. But I can clear it. And it's important to know that because if you know that it can guide you and you can serve them on a deeper level. But a lot of it is knowing when to turn it on or when to turn it off, how to regulate it and not be debilitated. A lot of healers make that mistake. Clairsentience is sometimes when things get really intense and you can experience huge emotional swings, you might think that you're going crazy and even ask yourself, geez, am I bipolar or what am I one day high and feeling great and the next I'm feeling at the bottom of the barrel? And a lot of times there's people out there that medicate to just shut off this ability um, of clairsentience because they don't realize it's actually a gift and it's too overwhelming for them. You just don't know how or what it could be doing for you. You know, there's no handbook. Nobody taught us this. So they don't teach this stuff in school. But it's something that you have to explore and find out for yourself. Sometimes it's the long, hard way or you can take a shortcut with training like this. Um, it's also one of those gifts that I use all the time. And it can get really, really intense, uh, but it's really helpful and useful. So as a quick recap, um, clear empathy is clear emotional feelings, that you sense what they're feeling. And then there's clear sentience, um, where it's a clear physical feeling to where you manifest it in your physical body temporarily of what other people are feeling and it could be in your joints or whatever is aching. And the last one is claritangency. Claritangency is known as psychometry. It's the ability to receive information by touch. And people with this intuitive ability get sudden insights about the history of an object, for instance, or a person, animal, or a place when they physically touch it. They can give it a hug or a handshake, brushing up against someone, sitting in a chair someone else used, Holding someone else's jewelry, for instance, or an article of clothing it can be a handwritten note um, that could actually invoke that psych psychic, psychometric Im impression. So there you have it. The eight psychic senses and the five steps that you can use to remove deeply rooted energetic blocks that are secretly stopping you from experiencing more abundance, happiness, peace, and success in your life. I could spend weeks talking about all this stuff. There's just so much amazing information to share. And I hopefully that what I've shared with you today helps you get started and aware of what's going on in your energetic system because awareness is the first step. So on that note, I would personally like to invite you to a private exclusive training opportunity that I'm offering to help you advance your own natural psychic abilities with myself. And I would love to chat with you and explore where you're currently stuck and where you need more support. Besides that, I'm sure you've got some very unique needs and things that you want to accomplish, but perhaps you even feel stuck or blocked. And I have set aside some time to speak to you personally, to speak to you about how you can take your next step and what that might look like at no cost for you. And it's absolutely free. I just would love to chat with you and get to know you more. Why am I doing this? You know, remember, your energy and you're matching the energy around you and you're continually matching energy around you until you change some of those patterns. So as you raise your vibrations 
you send ripples out into the world and then you watch the world around you start to transform before your very eyes. So I'd like to call that living in everyday magic and creating everyday miracles. Life becomes a whole lot more fun, mysterious and playful too. On this call that we connect with, you're going to be able to um, get some clarity on what some of those patterns are that you're sending out in the world that might be invisibly stopping you. Um, and maybe some of these invisible patterns that you keep creating and that are blocking you from living more fully and expressive in all of your natural abilities. Then, if you want some help, um, and if you think we both think it's a good fit, I might invite you to become one of my very exclusive clients. So go ahead, and if you want to clear those abundance blocks now, go ahead and click that link, amirahall.com forward slash chat. The truth is, you were born perfect, you know. There's just so much unnecessary pain and suffering in the world because people are not aware of their own unique spiritual gifts and how to manage them, how to manage that energetic system. Or worse, you know, they dim their light and completely shut off the light because they didn't understand and they were afraid that they'd be judged by others. I'm guilty of that. And when we put off our light uh, or put it out, it's like shutting off your spiritual GPS and your intuition. And it's a huge reason why a lot of people actually are lost on their path or stuck in life. So running around in circles is not really living to your fullest potential and it's not experiencing full abundance and fulfillment that life has to offer. The truth is that you, you, know, you weren't imperfect um, and helpless. Uh, quite the opposite. You were born perfectly. You're, you're equipped with all the spiritual wisdom and knowledge and gifts and tools that you need not only to survive but to thrive okay, and making a lasting impact in this world. You have a purpose. You came here as a gift to the world through your own unique spiritual soul expression of your own divine wisdom. Somewhere along the line, though, you forgot. <laughs> Amnesia kicks in when we're born. Uh, we give away our power and we rely purely on logic. Uh, we were trained well in our educational system to survive. So, you know, we shut off not only our life force energy, but we shut down our emotions and, of course, our spiritual gifts. But in the magic of life and our purpose of this life lies within our light, which most people have forgotten about, and our hearts, not in our heads. You know, you're not alone. I've been down this path before you, and I know there's a better quality of life for myself and for you. And it's out there for everyone. So I'm here to empower you and to help you get there. Now, if we work together, I promise you, you're going to start feeling more inspired and receptive without doubting yourself or feeling the blocks or resistance. And you're going to start accomplishing more without feeling overwhelmed or exhausted or anxious. And I promise you will start shining bright like a diamond without feeling stuck like you're stuck in concrete or that everything you do is working against you. So as I mentioned, let's uh, book a call and chat about how you can get unstuck and how you can accelerate and explore all that you came here to do, fully express all of that. And as I promised, you stayed here with me to the end and just go ahead and check your inbox. You're going to get an email from me on the rapid manifestation video that I mentioned earlier as your bonus for hanging out with me. Just check your inbox. It's going to be there. And I sure hope you're going to join me uh, to have a conversation. And I'll look forward to seeing you real soon and getting to know you. Many blessings to you.